Holly, tell us about how you first got into pony racing. Um, when I was about 10, I, well, my dad used to train and I, was, I always used to want to be a jockey. So the first thing I thought was I want a pony race <laughs> as soon as I was old enough. So I got on my little pony club pony and took him to the local point to point and galloped him around there. <laughs> Came last by about 20 lengths. And then I did a few races on him and then I thought I need to get a better pony now. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you'd always sort of wanted to get into to racing? You had a, a family background in the yeah, sport? Yeah, yeah. My mum and dad used to be jockeys as well. So I've always been influenced on them, really. And did they encourage you? Yeah, yeah, my dad encourages me the most, probably. And teach you a little as well? Yeah, taught me a lot. <laughs> Tell us a bit about how your racing experiences were, because they were aligned alongside point to points. Tell us how that worked. Yeah, well, we have race course series and point to point series, and on the point to point series, you don't have to carry a weight, you just sort of the lightest jockey and sort of has an advantage. So I just stick to the point to point series. And it's good, it's it's just on, you just go around the outside of the jumps, go flat out. Okay, so, yeah. and would that that'd be on days when they're same, racing? Same same days as point to points, either before or after. Yeah. And, and what is it about the, the pony racing that has prepared you for the job and the work and the life that you find yourself in now? Well, it's made me realise how hard it is <laughs> to, to be any good. Um, it's taught me how to ride, basically. Um, yeah, and then when you're in race situations as well, it's taught me. And if you had a bit of advice for, say, some woman who's in your position five years ago wanting to get into it, what would you say to them? Well, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter if you have a good or bad pony. You're probably off with a pony that's not any good because <laughs> it teaches you how to ride better than just sitting there on a push-button pony. <laughs> now, you're with David Evans riding horses for him. Yeah, when I was, as soon as I turned 16, I came up and rode out every weekend. And then I was part-time since two months ago. I used to just come up on the weekends and ride out. Then I got sort of employed. And now, because I'm going to apply for my apprentice license, once all the courses are sorted out, I'm full-time now. The Mongoose, your first winner at Salisbury yeah. back in May. Tell us about that. Yeah, it was my first ride, and we weren't really expecting anything from me or the horse. And then when you went to Chester think. in July, it happened again. Did you yeah. feel the benefit of that first-time experience? Yeah. I, relax, I was more relaxed. Every time I ride, I get more relaxed. In pony racing, I was really relaxed because I knew that I was probably not going to win. I just go around and try my best. But yeah. And to be now riding at those big tracks and places like Chester, that must have been quite a unique experience. Yeah, I can't really believe it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. And if you can sort of sit back for a minute and try and believe or imagine where you might be in a couple of years' time, what are your ambitions? Hopefully ride as an apprentice in a few months and see how that goes, really, yeah. And maybe in two years' time you'll be up against the next Holly, who's come along from the, yeah, the pony, pony circuit. Racing, yeah, yeah, it'll be in my position. So well done so far. We look forward to the next uh, stage of the adventure. Thank you.